Hello and welcome, this is Gigi and this will be a tarot reading for my Scorpios. Hi Scorpios, long time no see, long time no talk. I know it's been a while, I have taken a long leave of absence. For those who don't know me, my name is Gigi Lee. I've been doing reading on YouTube since 2014 and I know I have taken a, a few or maybe a couple a leave of absence and that brings me to uh, congratulating all the readers on YouTube that post regularly their weeklies and monthlies because guys it takes a lot of energy to channel it takes everything and sometimes you may know you may notice that some readers come and then they they leave they come because it takes a lot of energy but let's not waste any time for you my beautiful Scorpios and see what spirit has to say I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate and I ask spirit for guidance. Let's see what we have for you, my Scorpios. I've been told many times that my reading actually uh, unfolds sometimes the next few weeks, sometimes the next few months. So just even if I'm going to put December date, you know, you might want to come back to this reading too, um, a few months or a few weeks, okay? Mm. Oh, Woo! Scorpio, someone is trying to take your money. Okay, so, you know, I think that you're working towards regulating your finances here. Five of Pentacles is, a, is in a reverse, which is a good thing in a reverse, okay? In the past, you might have been struggling financially, right? Maybe there was a lack of... Um, support okay or uh, some type of blockage where you were not able to um manifest the right amount of values into your life and that values that doesn't mean just money it could be but it could be the right people it could be the right health okay or just the right amount of um things that you value in your life it could be friends too it could be the right family or things of that nature now that is over five of pentacles is in the reverse look we have the world yay and the reason why you couldn't have been manifesting the right thing and the right people is just because they were just not right okay and then you're ending that relationship or those relationships are ending those relationships where you're not getting support okay and support don't necessarily have to be financial support could be just being honest with with each other okay maybe you were surrounding with people that were not honest with you or you were surrounding with people that was just jealous of you right i say this because the five of swords is in a reverse the card of the thief is in a reverse but i think that going forward right you are now changing view and perception and that you know scorpio will always rise from their ashes okay that surprises people and one other thing about that is not only they rise but they always become stronger okay and one the reason for that is because they let go of things people that are not for the highest good okay a lesson that some other side have to really work Scorpio, we understand that. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Enough about investing, uh, dr dr draining your energy, right? Or just, you know, allowing others to take your time or things. I think that is over right here with the world, right? You have learned a lesson, okay? It's a karmic lesson. Something that have taken you a long time to learn because Scorpio is a fixed, stubborn sign. And if Scorpio feel good inside, if it feel fulfilled, even if the right people, the right circumstances are not there, they're going to stay in that position. But I think something happened in your life right now. Or maybe, you know, this Capricorn, um, Saturn, and Jupiter transit has been very hostile for some of my Scorpios in terms of um, accumulating wealth or just prosperity i think also some people are trying to take some money from you ten of pentacles in the reverse better watch that scorpios okay be mindful of that do your proper research the ten of cups the ten, did i say ten of cups i have to learn to speak fully the ten of pentacles okay the ten of pentacles normally in the right position it talks about abundance wealth inheritance gains get 
right? It could be the gift of just manifesting things, right? It could be also a gift that someone has given you, but there's something that was hidden from you, okay? But you're going to come in contact with that because it's the eight of pentacles sees that, you know, you're jumping really high. Something's going to really, you're going to be manifesting money for yourself. Finances in the future look good. But with the ten of pentacles also in the reverse, it's, it's looking at the five of swords, right? Five of swords, when I drew the card, when I drew the, draw the card, the card at first, it was in the reverse. So let me put it back in the reverse. Five of swords in a reverse is when the thief or the fake friend or the narcissist or the jealous, envious friend is revealed to you and you're no longer giving that energy, you know, because Scorpio has a, a manifesting energy that is good not only for Scorpios, but all the people around Scorpios, they always get a, having a Scorpio friend is a game thing because Scorpio is a die, a do or die person. They are very loyal. And if they can help you, they will be the last one standing when no one else is able to help, okay? Maybe you find yourself in a position where you needed help and actually the Ten of Pentacles is in a reverse and you didn't get any the support that you needed, right? People could have been enjoying the fact that they you could manifest the thing that you want, right? Oh, they're going to get it. That's my Scorpio. With the Five of Swords in the reverse, I think you were around someone with wrong intention. It could have been a friend who just was wanting for you to fail, okay? But you know who that is now. And I always say this, okay? Because everybody has hidden enemies, which is those that are envious of us, right? They go do things behind people's back to hurt them purposely. But that is, you know, if you don't know astrology, you don't know the karmic law, you will always fail. And that's why Scorpios are good in astrology because they find out that when you do something to someone like that, especially if that person is spiritual, that boomerang effect, it hurts you back in your feet. It hurts you. It hurts you. It really despair you. All right. You get hurt. Okay. Sometimes it's emotional. Sometimes it's physical. Right. Because I know a lot of people who did a few things to me. And, you know, things got back to them too. That's what it is. I didn't have to do anything. And now with the five of swords, I feel like there's someone here who is just not able to see you or not able to bring you down anymore because, you know, it's been revealed and also they don't have access to the whatever whatever because sources is, is communication maybe they don't have access to the files or they don't have access to the information that they used to get because in order to help scorpio you have to do things behind their back right you have to access information secret information behind their back and the information has to be hurtful if you want to hurt them because if they find out that you have access to information you're not supposed to it's going to be back to you and yes that's exactly like i said it is going to hurt okay here the five of swords has been revert has been revealed it's in reverse, which is a good thing. But let's move on to the Eight of Pentacles here. The Eight of Pentacles, I mean, it's time for you to work. All right? It's time for you to work, Scorpios, because when you work, you make money. And what you need is security for yourself because you have learned that it's you. You're the Eight House. Eight House is about money. It's other people's money. And... If you want to help others, you need to help yourself, right? But you're going to do it. And you, you're going to be making money as soon as you get back to work or as soon as you start doing something, you know, this is working for yourself, right? In the future, most Scorpios will have to be sovereign, okay? Most of the people, to be honest, okay? But that's very easy for Scorpio to manifest things for them, okay? You're going to be working. It could be that you're going to be working and studying something new, it could be that you're going to be working and getting your health back in place. It could be that you're going to be working in uh, getting your family members straight up. Or you could be working in your business and just making money. And two eight. So those are very strong manifesting energy, right? Because it's, it's a powerful number. Number eight, eight of ones is reaching a goal, right? Especially that have to do with career, but I could have to do with love too, right? You're going to be reaching whatever you set yourself starting now, okay, Scorpios? You won't have to wait too long to start seeing things happen your way, okay? 
Um, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, I don't really like it, right? Because I kind of feel that someone could be enjoying some of your fun, some of your money here. But we're going to clarify. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So next to the Five of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles right now. You know, for you to be able to avoid you know, um, lack in terms of fun, you have to work for yourself. You have to constantly work, all right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is the card of being self-employed, right? It's the card of being your own provider, okay? is when you live in a state of bliss because you're able to make the money that you need. It comes easy, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles next to you, the Queen of Cups. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about business here. It doesn't have to be business, but it's about investing it into yourself. It could be your family, right? It could be your health. It could be your kids. Pentacles are about value, what we value, okay? So it could be relationship too because the house of value is, is Taurus, is the, the house just ahead of us, right? I do feel that you're going to also, there's something about relationship coming your way. Okay, it's not as clear, but before you actually manifest the right relationship, you have to be back in your feet, back on your feet, I should say. And with the five of cups here in the right position, you know, like I said, I thought someone was trying to take something from you, Scorpios, but it failed. It failed. And that person is miserable right now, miserable, right? Someone really truly trying to take something from, they came in with wrong attention. You didn't see it coming. Why? Because this is earth and this is water. Pentacles is earth and cups is water. Water, water and earth make things grow. So maybe you were investing in the wrong people. You were investing in the wrong thing. And you know, you're so stubborn, you could have been investing there for too long and maybe it was short, but it took so much. It took a lot of you. It took a lot of your time, which you value, which is valuable, right? Because time is money. It took a lot of your resource, your health, your energy, right? And you were not able to manifest because you give it all, right? And you give it to people that just did not really worth your time. Three of Cups is in a reverse. But now you know more than ever, okay, who's with you. And it's not even, you don't even have to have people with you supporting you as long as you're able to support yourself. I, I bet they'll see, come, they'll see you and they'll be like, oh, how did she do that? Why him? Why, why her? It's always like that, right? Because Scorpio, you know, they, it's the house of jealousy. People say that Scorpios are jealous, but a lot of times people are jealous of them. Okay, because they're, they're looking at Scorpio like, why is she doing this? She shouldn't be doing that. No, that's not right because they're just capable of just bringing things to them. That's, you know, it's, I'm not just saying this. That's number eight. That's the eighth sign of the zodiac. That is Scorpio. You know, I'm Scorpio for my cross watchers, right? Now, looking at this in the future, you know, you having the the independence that you seek to finally be able to do your work to have the space that you need is making you very happy and you being happy that's how you're going to be manifesting the right relationship in your life because you know your worth so you're not looking back here my scorpios you're looking at it with like humility i say okay you know life will be challenging challenges don't stop but I will overcome. I know my skills. I know my power. I have a, a few secrets that I'll keep to myself. Because Sophia is a secretive sign. I, I'll keep my secrets to myself going forward. I, I won't. I won't bring those. You know those narcissist energies that's gonna try to suck me dry. Right. I'll just keep looking for my future, and I'll have something better. So a better relationship, more money right more um stability right the things that I value for yourself which is great so basically what i see for you scorpios is like you know, there's really there's people that let you down the five pentacles is in reverse but those are people that actually were not even 
stable themselves, right? Knocking at your door. Maybe you have been the ones knocking at people's door because you were not stable financially or emotionally. There's some instability that you were going through. It's the COVID thing, right? But look, you you bounce back like a phoenix, phoenix back on your feet. No time. Boom. People don't understand it, but that's what Scorpio does, right? It's the sign of transformation. Now let's have the world card over here. Because a few things like there's a you learn a huge, huge lesson, right? Because the world is the last card of the deck, a tarot deck. It represents ending a karmic cycle, which is huge for you, right? Because sometimes you could get stuck in some place without seeing your own, you know, on, on selfish sometimes behavior, self-undoing behavior, right? Which is sometimes things that are difficult to admit okay look will of fortune now that you have finished this karmic uh you know baggage that you were dragging right unconsciously maybe people that you were dragging with you those that were now that you have ended ended at that look now you're gonna be able to manifest and you're gonna be manifesting big it's going to be big. Will of fortune with the world, you're going to get also, you could be getting a gift, some type of reward, some type of a promotion that could be related to your status or something that you have learned. Some people are looking at you as you're very knowledgeable now, all right? I think that even with all this painful realization, because you're very strong on your feet, a lot of people respect you, Scorpio, all right? Because you were able to navigate through this moment with um or maybe it could have been longer than just a moment right you were able to navigate through this cycle with your head on your shoulders you didn't lose your head you might have lost money you might have lost friends but that's actually that's a good thing because they were not supportive and the money you're gonna get it back you're gonna get more here four of ones in a reverse so the thief whoever that was right that deceptive energy the narcissist was really trying to you know prevent you to be happy and stable in your life right they, they probably wanted what you had could manifest it for themselves because it's always like that right they couldn't they couldn't manifest it for themselves and they were not really able to understand why you were able to do it right and they really, with the four of ones in the reverse, someone really tried to destroy your happiness. Someone really tried to destroy the the your really your your the base of who you are, your character. Someone really went in because it's number four. Four is a foundation, right? You see, it's a house. Someone went really deep in trying to uh, destabilize you, but it it didn't work. It really didn't because look, eight of ones, you're going bigger now. Of the target, your goals are even bigger than it was because you realize, wow, I must be strong if they're coming for me. I must be stronger than I I knew I was, right? So now you're going all out, Scorpios, and you're gonna win. Let's clarify the eight of ones, three of ones in the reverse. Now here, Scorpio, don't look back. Don't look back, Scorpios. I know Scorpios, you're sensitive. Do not look back. What is gone is gone. Let it go, Scorpio. Let it go. Because there is a story. I can't really say what the story is, particularly right now, but I know the story is about, you know, someone who's get a second chance in life under one condition. And the condition is to never, never, ever turn your back again to the past. Don't turn your back to the past. Don't do it. Don't say yes to the people that you have turned your back. Don't look at them. Don't think about them. Don't ask for them. Okay? Look, she's not looking at the past. She's looking at the future. So make sure you understand that. Don't block your own blessings, Scorpios. But I'm going to end this reading here. Let me know how this resonated with you. Until next time, send you lots of kisses. I love you.